Cooler YouTube, this is Dakota from Motive Media, and today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, where we go over songs that came out this week in EDM. How self-explanatory is that? As always, there is a Spotify link down below for all the songs and easy access, as well as timestamps if you want to see that. So uh, let's hop into it. 33 songs I wanted to talk about this week, and a lot of stuff that I didn't think was great. So let's kick it off in the bad category. Remember, these are just my opinions. Don't take them as gospel truth. Uh, we've got Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike and Will Sparks with uh, Rave Generator. Big Room with no flair or style to it. That's it. It's dull. It's boring. It's got a stutter, like, kick randomly placed throughout the track. And this is a no for me, dog. Then we got Bass Jackers and Sunny Wern with Traffic Lights. Super boring main stage track that's way too short and latches itself onto a melody that's quite drowned out by the bass line. This whole track feels like a mess to me. Then we got Infect with Play It Twice. This will probably be, be, be my biggest hot take of this video. Uh, yeah, I feel like this is just pretty linear vomit rhythm with no real tonal variation or even melodic variation. It's a relatively simple song by rhythm standards, and I'm really not driving with this one. Um, I, I know I'm not the hugest rhythm enjoyer, but surely this isn't like peak rhythm. I don't know. Not a fan. Then we got Subtronics featuring Gretsch with Splinky Dub. Uh, this track is, as its title proclaims, it is Splinky Dubstep. Whatever you think Splunky sounds like is what this song sounds like, genuinely. Uh, ultimately, though, it's a bit boring and kind of has the pseudo-rhythm productions to it. And again, not really much going on here. In fact, parts of it feel quite gimmicky with the vocals from Gretsch, too. And uh, another one I just wasn't feeling. We've got Alan Walker featuring Ina Wolderson, I want to say, with Barcelona. It's a typical, boring uh, Alan Walker house track, but with a kind of Latin pop twinge to it, uh, with that very prominent guitar and Ina's vocal inflections. Um, it's slightly better than typical Alan Walker, but falls into the same old tropes that Alan Walker keeps falling for time and time again, so I did not enjoy it. Then we got Kygo and Plest with Me Before You. Uh, not a fan of Plest's vocals here. I think he's trying to too hard to hit as many vibratos as possible. Uh, and other than that, it's kind of, again, more just kind of generic tropical house from Kygo with no special sauce to it. It's a lot of stuff this week that's kind of just bad and boring. And that's how I feel about that. Then we got Bose and Kiva Kivu uh, with Stupid, a main stage rave track that is purely just festival bait. The whispered vocals are annoying, the song's super short, and the drops leave you wanting more. Another one wasn't feeling. Then we got Nurko, Wukong, and Jordan Shaw with Heart for Rent. Man, Nurko cannot escape his generic melodic production. Uh, lyrically, sonically, structure wise, it's all so typical for melodic dubstep and Nurko in general. Again, it's not terrible here for Nurko. It's just bland, and we need a mix-up of something for sure. Uh, then we're moving into the meh category songs that I thought were pretty meh. We've got Sam Felt, Jake, and Anita with Mia Moore. A commercial house track with a Latin pop rhythm. I didn't really mind the style and happy sound design, but the mixing was just too flat for this to be worth its own weight. Then we've got Sippy with Sip on this, a fine dubstep track that leans slightly into the kind of vomit sound design. Um, honestly, though, I didn't really feel a whole ton was going on here sonically, kind of the same kind of rigid melody with these dueling guitars in the back the whole time, and I just didn't find anything super special about this one. Then we've got Retrovision with Family Mart, a main stage big room electro track with a strong, loud presence to it, very reminiscent of early kind of or mid 2015's uh, Big Room. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a neat throwback track to that kind of era and time, uh, but nothing too crazy nowadays. Then we got Don Diablo and Rehab featuring Nika with Disco Marathon, a disco inspired commercial house cut that is played pretty safe. Uh, it's a short track with equally short drops, um, has some happy lyrics that aren't really saying a whole ton. Again, it's pretty safe vanilla track, uh, and that's actually pretty good for Don and Rehab for the most part, so not too bad. Then we got Ivory featuring Big Jest with Trenches, a mechanical dubstep track with a hip-hop flair to it with Big Jest's vocals. Um, I don't think this style of production is Ivory's sweet spot. Um, I think the track falls into some pretty lazy production elements here and there. And uh, yeah, overall, I just didn't think that this was one of Ivory's uh, better cuts as of late. Then we got Said the Sky and Boys Like Girls with Hold My Breath, a real nothing burger of a track here. Boys Like Girls don't provide a ton of substance to the track, uh, with Said the Sky's production maintaining his kind of classic lighthearted mellow dub, which is, again, I've said it before with a lot of melodic producers, kind of just sounds the same. And that's that. Then we got Megan Trainer with Whoops, the Ellis remix. Uh, yeah, love that Ellis is getting a ton of new exposure with this new Megan Trainer remix, but my goodness, 
Ellis is trying his best to salvage this track. Um, the original vocals and narrative are hilariously bad. Um, Ellis brings a funk um, to an only two-minute track and tries his best to do with what he can, but um, there's really not much here to work with originally, so I'm just putting it here in meh. Then we got Delta Heavy featuring you with Babylon, the fifth single from an upcoming record from Delta Heavy. Uh, Babylon is a very typical drum and bass track. The vocals are solid, but production-wise, it really just is one of the most generic D&B songs I think Delta Heavy has maybe made ever. Uh, and then we're moving into Zavi with Round Again. Uh, the Alter Ego Volume 3 compilation is out now, and this is a track one of the highlight from it. Um, Zavi's glitchy kind of future-based trap style is fun, but doesn't really pack as nearly as much of a punch as I was looking for, and that's largely in part to the absence of a real bass line on the drops, uh, and pretty flat mixing all around. So I liked what the song was doing, but I didn't really love the way it was executed. Then we're moving into the good category songs I thought were pretty good. We've got Nanobi with So Right. Uh, a self-described as uh, hyper techno meets Euro trance. Uh, this track is a light and colorful track with a carefree nature. It's simple, it's fun, and I enjoyed it. Then we got Spaghetti with Sonic Beef, uh, a jumpy dubstep track here from Spaghetti with a kind of halftime finale to it that keeps uh, most of its charm in the very spunky kind of uh, left-leaning, just kind of weird, out-of-the-box style production on the melody and so uh and another one from spike Hitty, which is kind of a lot of weird stuff going on but it kind of just works then we've got the creds remix or creeds remix of creep killer from the Samplify, originally by samplifier featuring nika d uh, from the new firestorm remix there's a lot there in this title but uh yeah absolutely crushing techno remix with a very prominent hard style kick to it as someone that doesn't typically gel with this kind of style and genre i did find some some, quite a bit of enjoyment from this one, and this is probably one of the better ones from the Firestorm remixes, I think, personally. Then we got Codeca and Ella Poletti with Real Me In from the new Real Me In EP, three-track EP on Monster Cat. Uh, yeah, a very pleasant and easy listening electropop track with hints of Tropical House. Um, it's not the most explosive track out there, but it's fun, it's simple, and it gets the job done. Then we got Matoma and Scar with You Found Me, a commercialized progressive house track that didn't blow me out of the water, but would definitely be a great song to hear on the radio. Um, it's the first kind of radio-friendly progressive house song I think I've heard this year, one that's really meant for radio plays and not for the kind of niche or EDM crowd um, that, I would, uh, that I would listen to and go, hey, this is actually pretty solid. And so I thought it was great. We got Ryan Case with Save Me from the new Getaway Volume 6, or Gateway, sorry, Gateway Volume 6 on Lost and Dreams. And uh, yeah, a jumpy, grooving little house, deep house cut that doesn't really do too much, but is definitely a great listen. This is just another case for the fact that sometimes simplicity is king overall, and uh, that is this song for sure. Uh, then we got another one from the Alter Ego Volume 3 with Hex Cougar and Asian with Lose Control. A snappy hybrid trap uh, song here on the drops with some rumblings of funk in the builds. I appreciate the extended drop sections as well and thought the funk twist worked well as it added some much needed flavor to complement the uh, trap sound design. It's very much a, a similar Hex Cougar track, um, just with a bit of a, a little, like 20% funk in there and I enjoyed it. We got Charlie XEX with Spring Breakers from the, and yes, this is the full title, Brat, and it's the same, but there's three more songs, so it's not. Deluxe reissue of sorts. Um, so not sure why this was cut from the main track list, as this is a fun, glitchy, and distorted track that is very much in resemblance to the other ones from the main track list. And um, yeah, this really isn't your regular pop style of dance music, but damn, this goes hard. It's fun. It is short, but this is one of the times where short just really works here, and then didn't for a lot of other tracks this week. We've got James Blake, Let Her Know, from the new CMYK002 EP uh, that's randomly surprise dropped. Uh, James Blake is kind of cooking right now and supposedly dropped this surprise future garage kind of micro house EP with anticipation for his new upcoming collaboration record with Lil Yachty, which I will assume to be kind of in the realm of R&B. So I think we're getting a little bit more of the uh, dance style uh, before he drops another R&B style record. But uh, yeah, this track in particular isn't the most extravagant James Blake cut, but has a simple earworm of a beat and vocal chops after a neat and well put together track that uh, kind of just sits in there and just is like yes like I just vibe into this over and over again so this is another simpler one that I think really does its job then we got Sophie Tucker with Spiral the second track from their upcoming album uh, is a return to form for Sophie Tucker uh, did not love the first single a whole ton uh, I think she I think it actually got worse for me over time um, yeah the, the first track was a bit of a weird detour but this is back to their bread uh, and butter house production uh, with flashy melodies lead vocals guitar riffs and moving bass lines that is all of which I know and love from Sophie Tucker 
Then we've got Bensley, Justin Hawks, and Camarion with Sell My Soul from the new Carry the Fire EP from all three of these artists. Uh, yeah, the final track from this EP is definitely one of the most unique as it plays around this kind of high end of the drum kit with like kind of brighter snares, hi-hats, and rim shots. Um, also, kind of has a bit of a garage tinge to it, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I thought this was kind of uh, not my favorite, but one of the better ones from this EP for sure. Then we've got Diplo and Oliver Tree with Ultraman from the Netflix film Ultraman Rising. Um, this song has no right to be as good as it is. Uh, Diplo's funk production is absolutely fantastic, and Oliver Tree's vocals uh, slot in perfectly with the tone of the track. Um, for a theme song, this is tight, and for like a song song, it's actually just great. And this surprised me so much, uh, but I really enjoyed it. We've got Hello World with Something About You, a fuller sounding Hello World track with long synth sustains backing the whole track and a driving kick that just stays and stays and stays. Um, Hello World shows off uh, also some great vocal range here and uh, it's a pretty fantastic track and this is the second uh, track or single from an upcoming larger project from Hello World, which I'm not sure if it's an album or EP yet, but I'm excited for that when that comes out. Then we've got Overwork with Archetyped. Uh, Archetype. Uh, yeah, it's it's Overwork. It's more of the same cinematic Electro House, and it still slaps. It's grand. The mixing is fantastic and has a structure that builds upon itself one after another until it reaches the climactic finale uh, as we kind of come to know and love from Overwork. So just another great one from him. Then we've got Teddy Killers with Feeling Low, really creative and out-of-the-box thinking production here. The vocals and lead-in sound like this kind of old-school rudimental style, uh, the artist rudimental, and then it kind of jumps into this dense and heavy drop section that is unlike anything I've heard in the last long time, honestly. It's a really unique track um, that deserves the praise and deserves your listen. Go listen to Teddy Killers now. And finally, my number one track of the week is Wiremere with Ambrosia. Uh, is it, is it Wiremere? Wiermere? I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but from the new The Fae EP, uh, this track is best described as kind of dark indie dance with hints of mysticism here all throughout. Uh, Wiremere's vocals are fantastic as always, and the production feels so fresh and new. I'm really excited to dive into this uh, holistic EP as soon as I can, but um, damn, this, this track kind of blew me away with how much I enjoyed it and how much of a, an odd twist on the regular kind of indie dance style that we're used to um, that we don't hear a ton of nowadays. So uh, yeah, that has been my uh, picks for this week in EDM songs I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Motai Media and I'll see you guys in another video.